Hello everyone, it's Darby of Riverbend Survival. Today we're going to talk about the plow point. Let's get down to basics. Okay, let's talk about this shelter. This is obviously the plow point. Keeping in mind when I do this, and I'll explain to you here in just a second what makes it a little bit different, is that I do not use a perfectly square tarp. Mine is longer than it is wider. So, you saw when I got here. I walked up, I took the, let's go around here. I took one of the bungees off the bottom that holds my tarp onto my bag, moved it up here and hooked it and hung my bag on the tree. My bag is now at working level. This is right at my waist. I can see everything into it. I can get into it with ease and it's not on the ground. I then took out my tarp, took off the four bungees that hold it together when in storage. These kind of bungees right here and I attach the first corner up here. Notice I use no string. I just put one bungee through the tarp, which gives me my tension point. Uh, allows for the tent to move or the tarp to move without ripping out the grommets. And then I just took another one, wrapped it around the tree, through this one, around the tree, and hooked it. My tarp is now attached to the tree or the fixed position, which whatever you're going to use, a pole or a tree or whatever. I then walked around to the far end and set a uh, tent stake there. That gives me my ridge. I then came over here and set this side. Now you will notice if you watch the video that there is another grommet. If I stretch this out, it goes way out here. Um, because I use an oblong one, that's going to happen. So what I do is, is I fold that one under and I grab the middle grommet on the side. In other words, this tarp will actually come out to right about where my foot is right here. It's got another three, maybe four foot. But it does some hinky things to the shelter, plus it makes the opening way too big. Then I come over to the other side, set my third grommet or my third tent stake, get out my ground cover, put it out, shelter is set up. My cook set is already sitting out here, my water bottle's in here. Um, I can be in my shelter and reach my bag. I have enough height. One of the things that, I, that you might have seen me do is when I was setting up this tarp on this end, I walked up to myself and, and made sure that it was at waist level or a high or higher. That makes sure that I have room 
that I can sit up at this end. Using the cook set, which is the dog bowl set, I can build me a fire right here and cook my meal and never leave the shelter. Never have to worry about damaging my shelter. I can do everything under the shelter if it's raining or nasty. Now then, as you see in here, there is a ton of room. This runs way back down there. Uh, this ground sheet here that has the mylar on one side and it's got like the thick blue rubber plastic on the other side. Uh, it's as long as I am, so it's at least six foot long. Uh, I don't know the, the honest measurement of it, but as you can see, there's still plenty of room between the end of it and the back of the shelter. Now what I do is, that piece I was telling you about right there that I folded over, that's where I set anything that I want to keep dry. Uh, or, you know, in my shelter at night, my water bottle, or when I take off my watch and stuff, I put all that right there. It's got its own little ground cloth and table to keep it clear. Uh, I don't know how long it is right off the top of my head, but I will when I edit the video, so I'll, I'll put it at the bottom. Or as a note, how long it took to set this shelter up, uh, it's just a couple of minutes, and you saw I was in no hurry at all. This is the plow point setup. It is one of my two favorites, and it is probably the one that I use the most. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Darby saying, get out in the dirt and have some fun. Thanks.